It's been an amazing week here in Falls Creek with over 50 centimetres of new snow. Skiing and snowboarding conditions are the best we've seen all winter. Looking around the resorts here at Falls Creek, all lifts and terrain are open with Ruin Castle and Panorama Terrain Parks firing. At Hotham, all lifts are spinning with the orchard open, while Buller expect 20 to open. Mount Bulbul have three lifts set for the weekend. More snow is expected today before sunny skies tomorrow and into the weekend. Sunshine and great snow. We're in for a treat. Back to you, Mike. Welcome to our reporting. Thank you, Melissa. Conditions up there ideal. And tomorrow, not a bad old day. 14 degrees after a freezing start. I'll see you tomorrow night as we give a dog a home. Stephen? You will. Thank you, Mike. And that is 10 Eyewitness News for this Thursday. On behalf of the team, take care. Good night. Tonight, regional disability groups voice fears over Uber's legislation. The mystery surrounding a missing Swan Hill man deepens. And Colleyburn Water find thousands over a sewage spill. Good evening, I'm Amy Duggan. Also tonight, a group of disadvantaged youth get ready to tackle Kokoda. Bendigo residents living with a disability are crying out for Uber services to be more inclusive for those with special needs. They claim there aren't enough wheelchair accessible taxis in the city, calling on the ride sharing service to step up to the mark. It's social outings like this which 34 year old Kai Yates lives for, but he sometimes faces an arduous wait for disability equipped transport. Sometimes you have to wait, but half an hour to get one. While Uber is now regulated by the state government, there are hopes it can cater for an increasing demand from people of all abilities in regional Victoria. We need some, uh, some more, because there's a lot of people in wheelchairs and sometimes you um, have to wait a little bit more longer. Concerns now turning to how the ride sharing services will be inclusive for those with a disability. And with Uber you can have your own car, you know, so people with disabilities has to, have to miss out. But Uber has hit back, claiming accessibility is a top priority. Already using technology to deliver transport options for more Victorians. The service wants to open up government subsidy schemes, welcoming discussions with the state government. Disability support providers expect greater demand for transport for those with special needs after next year's rollout of the NDIS to be able to go to work, to be able to get to school and other educational things and there will be an increasing, we think, need for accessible transport. Alison Fonseca, News. Two Bendigo teens were lucky to escape serious injury after a head-on crash in Epsom this morning. The Silver Yaris was heading north along Station Street when it collided with another vehicle around 7am. Emergency services were helping to clean the glass off the road. An 18-year-old driver was taken to hospital with cuts and bruises. The brother of missing Swan Hill man Mark Beams fears he may have met with foul play two years after his mysterious disappearance. Craig Beams says he's heard little from homicide detectives and the family's worried it may turn into a cold.